Finding Copalis. Andy loses his job at the lumber mill. Then his grandfather dies and leaves him a metal detector. Not willing to let the old bastard get to him, Andy sets out to use his inheritance to find his fortune on Copalis Beach. Andy's girlfriend, Crystal, loses her job at the grocery store. Then her grandmother dies and leaves her an old shawl and a deck of tarot cards. The two of them put their new resources together in an attempt to twist fate for their own benefit. It works. Okay, so where do I need to look? Well, you have to give me some sort of idea of the general area. Let's, uh, let's go pack beach down to the jetty. Okay, how long is that stretch of beach? Like 20 miles. Okay, so I'll just turn over cards from the Major Arcana. Whatever, just tell me where to look. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, so just shut up and let me do it. I'm listening. Okay. When the Wheel of Fortune comes up, that's how you'll know where to look. So start turning. Magician. High Priestess. Temperance. Mm -hmm. The Empress. Wheel of Fortune. There it is. Right, right. Okay, so where do I look? Okay, so it was the fifth card, so try the fifth mile from Pack Beach. That's right around Copalis Rock. Okay. Okay. Finding success and buried treasure, Andy and Crystal ask the cards for more. They find more than they bargain for.
The treasure Andy finds has come from a tsunami shipwreck from across the Pacific nearly a century ago. The newfound treasure's owner appears as a ghost and demands they give it to his last living relative or face the full power of his wrath. Will Andy and Crystal find the ghost's last living relative? Will the ghost cease haunting Copalis Beach? Will Andy and Crystal use their inheritances to secure their future fortunes? Although they have lived there all their lives, will Andy and Crystal ever find Copalis?